Hello appraisers, this is Brandon with Choice Valuation, and in this Spark Spotlight video, I'm going to be showing you how to load in your market conditions data to Spark. Okay, so once you enter in your effective date to Spark, you're going to see this green button appear, and you click that to switch over to the market conditions side of Spark. I'm going to click that. Now you can load in your file. So, uh, what you would do is you would go into your MLS, you do a search for all the competing properties, or all whatever you deem to be competing with your subject property, and you export that data. Now, if you don't know how to export that data, you just click this need help with file setup and this button will take you to a page with specific instructions for your MLS on how to export the data. Okay, so let's assume you know how to do that though and you've you've gone into your MLS, you've done a search for the competing properties, you've exported it. Now you click here to load in that file. I click there. I'm going to find that file. It's right there. I click open. It loads it in and I'm good to go. Now, I can hit next if I want to and be done, but let's say I want to load in my neighborhood file as well. Now, this file would be all the properties in my, bro all the single family homes in my broader defined neighborhood area. And what I mean is, however you define your neighborhood on page one, that's your, that's your neighborhood that you're loading in, and it'd be all the homes in that area with no other parameters. Um, and of course, if you're doing a condo, it'd be all the condos in that defined neighborhood area. And then lastly, we have this alternative file. By the way, if I was doing a condo, you'd see a fourth option down here, which would say condo project file. So you could load in your condo. You'd do a search in your MLS for all the properties in your uh, subject's uh, condo project. So, okay, the alternative file would be anything you want it to be. So if you want to compare your neighborhood against another one, you could load in another neighborhood in here and then compare them against each other. If you wanted to load in uh, some other subset of properties and compare that to your competing file or your competing properties, you could do that as well. You just load in whatever you want. And by the way, you don't have to click this and choose your file. Let's say you had that file sitting on your desktop somewhere. You can just click it and drag it over to here and drop it and it will load that in that way as well. Okay, and then once you're done, you just click next and you're good to go. You can see all the data is loaded in. Um, I do just wanna point out that the neighborhood file is what is used to fill out your low, high, and predominant. Uh, this does not use your competing file, it uses your neighborhood file. So if you don't load in your neighborhood, you're not gonna get that information. Okay, thanks everybody for watching.